the tourism industry feeling the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide. And tonight, our Charles Fisher takes a look at how one travel agency is dealing with the decline in business. Borders are closed, travel has ceased. And with the summer months coming up, it would have been a busy time for the travel agencies. COVID-19 has definitely had an effect on this business. Uh, at this point, no one is traveling and most of our clients are instead requesting uh, refunds for travel that would have been up, uh, especially our uh, close clients. So uh, I'd say at this point, business is taking a low side. Uh, last year, especially uh, 2019, was a pretty good year up for the for the travel industry and for our business in particular. We went into 2020 expecting that same trend to continue. And the onset of the pandemic has uh, basically we had to cut our projections, uh, I would say probably by about 90, 95%. If you were scheduled to travel during this time, Financial controller at Premier Travel, Kevin Murphy, explains if refunds are possible. It is possible, uh, especially with the uh, cruise ships. Uh, it's a lengthy process, so it's not automatic. But if a client uh, who has uh, an itinerary or who has both traveled, if they come in to us and request a, a refund, what we do is we in turn reach out to our uh, partners, our airline partners, our cruise partners, and we sort of get the ball rolling. Uh, but in most instances, what they will normally get back is not a cash refund, per se, but usually a credit towards uh, any future travel that they may wish to do. Unlike most businesses, booking of flights is not necessarily a face-to-face -face process. The majority of our clients they no longer come into the physical office, we say. Um, a lot of our business has moved from uh, physical interaction with the client to more of an online uh, interaction. So a lot of our clients, they call, either call, call our agents uh, or they email their request into us and we uh, facilitate their request. I'm Charles Fisher.